Okay, guys, now, now I'm going to talk about some topics that, um, um, this is now I'm going to talk about topics that, um, I've been thinking about doing for a little while, but, um, I decided I should do it now, um, and that is, um, it's a video, and today's video is called, Commercials Suck Now. What happened to commercials? Commercials used to be so... I mean, they used to be funny. They used to be fun to... And they want, they make you want to buy the product. Now it is the opposite. It is They're just terrible. They don't make you want to buy the product. You, they just want... They just they make you want to stay away from them. And um, as much as you can. And hold on. Sorry, I'm just saying it's recording. Um, and they're just... They want to make a quick buck. You can tell because the commercials are so bad that you can tell that they're they're just they're not even trying. They're just they're trying to um, pander to the kids, and that's it. Like this first one, I mean, it was all over the news. This commercial was so bad. A commercial that completely ripped off the Minions and Despicable Me. Oh my God! This time replaced with Happy Meals. That McDonald's commercial with, when they look like minions and one of them crash into it and then one the other's laughing and the laugh sounds ex almost practical to the minions laugh. Really, McDonald's? Are you kidding me? Hold on, let me get more light in here. It's a little dark because it's it's nice and sunny outside, so. Um, let me do this. Sorry about that. I just need to get more light in here because it looks like there's not a lot of whole, not a ton of light in here. So that's much better. Um, today I'm talking about commercials. Um, McDonald's commercials now. They're just they're so bad. They pander to the kids. They are just they are bad bad commercials. Um, next are the. Um, are the commercials for um, movie trailers these um, movie clips these days? Jeez, and they're starting to spoil movies. Wow. Um, if they spoil movies, then what's the point of going to go see it? I don't get it. Um. um It's like, come on, people, please, um, come on, people, please, um, understand, um, I mean, they are some of the worst commercials I've ever seen, I mean, clip, especially X-Men Days of Future Past, um, even though uh, the trailer was good, but the preview was not very good, um, Like it showed some of the action scenes and stuff. I don't get that, um, because it kind of it kind of spoils the movie a little bit. Um, also, horror movies of today are now spoiled in the trailer. The the ending is spoiled in the trailer. I don't get it either. Same thing. I don't get it. Just please tell me why they do that. Um, I'm not trying to, I'm not meaning to offend anyone, I'm just, I'm just saying my personal thoughts, okay? These, this is all my opinion. If you disagree on something, I respect your opinion. Um, that's great, that's wonderful. Um, it's, it's okay, um, because we all have different tastes. Um, uh, different, you know, things we like and stuff. We all have different things we like and stuff. Actually, I don't need this light on. Hold on. Yeah, that's better. Um, um, another commercial I just cannot stand is the um, the commercial for um, what is that commercial again? I mean that preview again. Um. R.I.P.D., which looks terrible. Like that film looks so 
awful. Um, that film looks like a ripoff of Men in Black. R.I.P.D. looks terrible. I'm never gonna see that movie. It looks just awful, and um, it revealed the action scenes and stuff. Oh God, that movie looks so bad. It looks like a complete ripoff of Men in Black. It feels like, and I heard it feels like 90 minutes of Men in Black again. This time with different, with a different cast. Oh man. Yeah, R.I.P. looks horrible. Um, and also the the trailers were awful. The previews were just the previews were just totally god awful. Um, and stuff. And it, and the movie looks like total trash. I'm never gonna see it. Um, looks like total trash and. Um, yeah, that's another thing I cannot stand. To come another commercial, just cannot stand. It's so dumb. Um, the progressive commercials. Oh God, they are s some of the junkiest, stupid, most ridiculous commercials on the face of the earth. I mean, it is some of the dumbest stuff I've ever seen. I mean, ugh. I can't even explain it, because I haven't seen one of these commercials in so long, because I've always fast-forwarded through these dumb commercials. Every time I see these commercials, I just rush to um, fast-forward it. Ugh, terrible commercial. Um, the Allstate commercials are also pretty stupid. Um, the Geico commercials are god-awful. I mean... The talking dragon or whatever, that lizard green thing, I don't know. Ugh. Oh, that frog, whatever it is. Oh, God, he is so annoying. Just non-stop talking and stuff. Oh, I saw my camera flash. That was kind of weird. Sorry about that. Um, I was looking to see what happened. Oh, garbage truck is here. Um... I was off topic. Let's continue. Um, like I said, Geico commercials are some of the ugliest, creepiest, horrible looking. I mean, oh man, so bad. Progressive. Oh, both of those commercials are dumb. Um, also, this creepy commercial. Um, it's an old commercial, but it's like a hurt. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a payday commercial. Oh, my God, that commercial was disgusting. It was talking about, oh, it's, you know what, glory. Oh, God, <laughs> nasty. You just made a joke about, but, oh, my God. Candy bars have, oh, my God. Ugh, that commercial bothered me so bad. First of all, that is not glory. Second of all, that is just disgusting, not glory. Three, um, I could think, I mean, I could think of millions of things wrong with this commercial. With that, I mean, I could think of a million things wrong with that. And... Just that phrase. I could think of a thousand things wrong with that. The whole commercial absolutely sucks. I mean, oh god, it's so gross. Um, another commercial that is just. Ooh, I hate this. Um, the commercial for. Oh, I hate this commercial. And it's. Amazing Spider-Man 2, McDonald's trailer. Oh, boy. I was messed up. And then McDonald's Happy Meals and come with Amazing Spider-Man 2 toys. And guess what? They made it look like little kitty stuff. That completely sucks.
Oh my god, I'm 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 gonna vomit. That commercial was so bad. Um Okay, spoiler alert. Um okay, spoiler alert. Um So basically he grabs his web, he gets over to the McDonalds or whatever. Uh, last time I remember, I don't know, something like that, and and they and then they just show a happy meal coming with a toy. Oh my god, that's just terrible. Um another commercial like on my nerves was the tur the Tootsie Pop commercial. I just could not stand that commercial because um this basically basically this boy with no clothes on. What? What? Ew. Um, and he goes to these owls things or whatever, and and asks the um, asks the you know, asks for um how many licks is in are in the tootsie pop rolls, and then and then the owl says let's find out, and then he just licks it or whatever, and him eats it, and then the boy looks sad. <sighs> what was that? Oh God! I never could stand that commercial. That commercial always got to me. Um, ever since I first saw it on television. Oh God, that commercial is so stupid. Oh my God! <sighs> Next commercial is the um, the preview from Mel Fishing, whatever it's called. I always forget the title, but, um, I do have news. I'm going to the midnight premiere tonight with a friend of mine. Um, I'll do it for you guys. Um, I'm going to go to that premiere of that movie tonight. Um, I'm going to review it, um, early tomorrow morning before I leave. Go to Special Olympic State, and then come, I'll be right, and then I'll come back on Monday. And, and I'll continue on Monday. Yep. I have news. Sunday is June. Yep. In a couple days, it'll be June. May is just ending. Wait, no, no, no. On Monday, it'll be... No, no, no. Sunday, I was right. It'll be June. Um, also, the commercial for that... Yeah, the commercial for that movie spoiled some things. I just... I didn't like that commercial that much. Um... The preview for, uh, that's another one of those movies that was completely spoiled. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean and Stranger Tides. Remember that trailer? That trailer, um, eh, uh, 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 not right. Um, I did find the fourth one to be alright. I thought Stranger Tides was alright. Third one sucked. Fourth one was alright. Um, first one was good. Second one was, eh, okay. Third one sucked. Fourth one was okay. Um, yeah, like I said, um, anyway, uh, I don't really want to talk about that right now. Um, the commercial for Having Us For Real, oh, that commercial was awful. Um, and I hated the movie, I saw it, I saw it, it was awful, I hated this movie. Um, I was only touched once in this entire film, I will admit, I cried at the end, um, the ending was kind of, uh, Kind of touching, but that was it. I was not touched. Other than that, I was not touched once by this film. <sighs> that film was so bad. Um, uh, and that trailer also spoiled a few things. Um, also, the an animated films trailers now are horrible. I mean, they are awful trailers. You know why? Because they make them look like little marketing makes them look like little kitty stuff. Oh, yeah, these are for little babies. But the movies are actually not. That's what really bothers me. And only a very few of them were kitty. That was it. Shrek three was kitty. Um. I've never seen Shrek for the final chapter, but I heard that one was also a bit kitty. Um, yeah, I'm I'm probably not gonna watch that movie because that movie doesn't look very good to me. Um, 
Yeah, the marketing yeah, film Shrek for after final chapter. Cup's calling it Shrek the final chapter, and it's just quit it. And especially when they made Puss in Boots after that, which is a spin off of Shrek. Come on. Puss in Boots was a good movie, though. I have it on DVD. Um, even though I did find that film having a few problems, but still, yeah, the film is not like flawless or anything. It has flaws, but. Um, the flaws are very minor, and, um, you know, they did struggle on a few things, but still, I thought the movie was trying, you know, it was trying to be fun, um, it was trying to be good, but, uh, but the marketing held it backwards from doing well, um, even though the movie was great. How to Train Your Dragons, the marketing of that film, eh, was alright, but just... Again, not very good, but the movie itself was excellent. I give it five stars. The reason why I'm not giving it six is because it's not absolutely flawless. I did find a very few flaws, but still, five is very good. Um, I have the movie on DVD, believe it or not. I can find it. I'll show it to you guys. Um, I have it on DVD, though. Let me see if I can locate it right now. Can see what I can do. Uh, what can I do? Yes, it is. Cookies right here. Oh, I'll fix that later. Here it is. We're also making a second one, which is coming here June 14th. Th June 13th. I might go see it. Um, the movie, the movie, the marketing that film, eh, it looks alright, but. DreamWorks, I mean, since the first film um, was such a great movie, I decided I'm going to see the second one, too. Because um, I trust DreamWorks because of this film. Um, yeah, Spine is the back. There's the disc, Born Grey Disc. Yep, and this movie's pretty good. I forgot when I got it, though. I forgot the day I got it, though. Oh, I just remembered something. Um, I believe I got his movie exactly a year ago. Did I get it on May 29th to around 13? Did I get it on May 29th to around 13, which is exactly a year ago? Because I went to, to the store that day and got some DVDs. Yep, exactly a year ago. I don't know. I, I, have, to, I have to check. I believe I did, though. Um, let's see how long we're in. 17 minutes, so we're doing good. Um... About 15 more minutes, because I'm trying to spend as much time as I can talking about commercials. Um, oh, yeah, the Applebee commercials. Oh, my God. Those commercials are so... I mean, they are... Oh, man. They are so, so, so bad. I mean... <clears throat> They talk to us like little kids, and um, and they're like, "Oh, all this is for four ninety nine. Get there on me." And just the way they sound in that, it's just so bad. The way the way they sound in that commercial, they're like, "Oh, look it, our stuff is four ninety nine. Oh, go buy it today." And they don't really tell, and they don't even tell you everything that is in that menu. That's why I don't get about that commercial. It doesn't even tell you anything in that menu. What is going on here? It tells you a few things, but it doesn't really tell you a whole lot. And it's like, no, just come here and find what there. No. Show us. That will make us come. Don't make us... Don't make us have to go over there if there's something we don't like. Come on. We don't like that. Um... Another commercial that was absolute garbage. Oh, man. Uh, country Buffet commercials. I only go on Country Buffet every once in a while because of these commercials. Seriously. Um, because these commercials are so idiotic that, um, that the only time I go to Country Buffet is when I real I, I, I'm, like, starving. I have not ate in days, um... 
Well, I'm not, I've like like not eaten in days, hungry, and then that's then I will go there. But um, because of those terrible, 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 terrible commercials. Same thing with the Applebee's commercial. They just talk to us like babies and um, expect us to come there. That's not the way how you do service, man. Come on. That is not the way how you do service. I love Country Buffet. It's my favorite place to eat, but... It's my favorite place to eat, but... The problem is their commercials are so bad that I only go there every once in a while. I also don't like the Taco Bell commercials very much because of their ending scene. I mean, also, um... Oh, I remember another commercial I was stupid. The rip-off of Pinocchio, um... Commercial... When this boy, when this guy talks to this boy that looks like a CGI version of Pinocchio. Oh my god, I hate that commercial. It appears on TV every freaking day, and I want to tear it up every time I see it. Oh my god, it's on like every day. Yeah, it is a complete ripoff of Pinocchio. I mean, um, I thought Teacher's Pat was a, looked like a... A bad ripoff of Pinocchio, but this commercial, I mean, I just hate how the way they use CGI. At least they, at least in Teacher's Pet, they had the same style as in Pinocchio. I'm just kidding. That was the worst part because that just rips off everything you knew about Pinocchio. At least this commercial doesn't do that, but still, this commercial is garbage. I mean, it is one of the worst commercials ever. Please. Please. Every time you see this commercial on TV, just fast forward it. Please. Just fast forward it. Don't waste your time, please. Please fast forward it. Um. Another commercial I don't, I don't like. Oh, yeah. Taco Bell commercials. Um. I didn't really talk a whole lot about those. I still go to Taco Bell all the time. I love that place. I always get their smothered burritos, but, um, the problem I have with their marketing is, um, their marketing is so lame, like, they just market stuff, n they don't market stuff appropriately, like, they just, again, they, they pander to us, they, they, they act like big babies, and like, oh, this is the best thing ever, go here, it is not the best thing ever, sorry, um, also, the NFL commercials. Oh, my. Ugh. Those commercials are torture. Um, it spoils all the games and stuff. And thank God I do not watch NFL. I hate NFL. Never watch it. It's, a, it's garbage. Never see it. NFL sucks garbage. I never go to the games. Never do anything. I just stay at home. I never ever go to the NFL. And I never, ever will. Not a big fan at all. Don't even like it. Don't care about it. Oh, God. <sighs> I've never been to the NFL, never will. Just not a fan of that type of stuff. It's so lame. It's, oh, God. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, 23 minutes in, so I guess I have another 10 minutes. So, um, Because I want this to be at least a 30-minute video, because... This will be part one, and because I have a lot to say about these bad commercials, um, another commercial where, um, the thing that really drives me nuts about this commercial, um, it's called, and the commercial is, um, the Fruity Pebble commercial. The reason why they drive me crazy is because they just talk about how much they want their cereal, and they argue about it. That is not stuff to argue about. I'm sorry, but that is not stuff to argue about. That's like uh, me arguing about a sock <laughs> or a shoe. I mean, it's just absolutely pointless. Unless you have to go somewhere. Then it, it's enough to argue about. But not like trying to look for your shoe to have it later
what is the point of that? Also, the marketing for um, all sorts of movies. Like I said, the, all the marketing is pretty much terrible. Um, they show a bunch of scenes in the movie that should not be shown. I mean, I could do better clips off of iMovie. I could do better clips off of iMovie. Yep, that is how bad. In fact, I even tried some clips before. I've done them before. I've done some horror film um, trailers before. I know what it's like to do them. I don't have iMovie anymore. Mom deleted that because it was taking up too much space. So, um, I'm not going to be able to upload them. Otherwise, I would. But I can't because I don't have iMovie anymore. Um... I thought iMovie was okay. A lot of people said iMovie sucks, but I thought iMovie was okay. Uh, not really my favorite. I thought it was alright. Uh, not really my favorite, but it's okay. Um, it's not like, oh, you hate yourself for it, but still, it's not that bad. Another movie that I just... I'm not another movie, sorry. Another commercial that just drives me absolutely nuts is the commercial for Snickers. Oh, that reminds me of a commercial from Snickers because I just said that drives me nuts. It reminds me of Snickers. The Snickers commercial, the Mr. T commercial, oh my god. And then this guy is like run faster and he th throws Snickers little things. It's like, just grab them and eat them. Come on, you dummy. In the commer I'm talking about in the commercial. It's like, come on, you dummy. Grab them and eat them. What is wrong with you? I mean, that's like, that is like one of the best candies out there. I love Snickers. I eat them all the time. I don't, I usually don't like nuts, but I like them in Snickers. Um, but I like them fine in Snickers. Um, have no problem with them in Snickers. But, um, in other candy bars, I will not have. Um, I, because my favorite candy bar, it, my, my favorites are either M&M's or Skittles, because I, I just, I always love those two. Um, um, hold on, uh, another thing, yeah, like I said, it's like, come on, you dummy on the street. Just eat the candy bars. Come on. Also, Mr. T's acting is awful. I mean, it is horrible acting. In that commercial, he did not know how to act at all. He was a horrible actor in that commercial. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but it's just, I'm being honest here. He was not very good in that commercial. It's just him throwing Snickers. Come on, just eat them. That's what they're made for. That's like, that's like not eating, that's like not eating, that's like not eating nachos because, because, that's like not eating nachos because, hold on, let me, I forgot what I was just said, um, so let me just try to refresh my memory again, um. It's like not eating nachos because, oh, my brain, sorry, um, sorry, my brain's really slow this morning, um, I just lost it, so, let me just say this, that's like eating nachos, not eating nachos because, because it's meant, not meant, because it's meant to be eating for. Yeah, that is how dumb that commercial was. Oh, Mr. T, please. You did so much better. Like, he was in Cloudy Chance of Meatballs. He did okay in that movie. He had an acceptable performance, and his character was likable. I laughed a lot in this character. His character made me laugh a lot. Um. Hold on. So, four minutes left. Um. Another commercial that just drives me insane is the commercial where, um, 
any commercial, um, any any TV commercial starring today from today, any TV commercial of today, I cannot stand because they are so dumb to watch. I mean, they're dumber than a rock. I mean, they are. They're dumber than a bunch of rocks. I mean, <laughs> they're dumber than a bunch of rocks. I mean, oh man, the commercials of those films are garbage. Oh boy, TV commercials absolutely suck. Now they show piece bits and pieces of the shows, like and they don't even tell you what episodes they are. Are you kidding me? Come on, that's jacked up. Um. Also, another thing I just do not get um about that commercial was um about these commercials are um. Why do they show so much going on and show what they're really going to be about and stuff? That's just spoiling stuff. You just spoil stuff right there. Um, please, this should not be happening. You should not be doing this. Um, but anyways, I think I'll end it short. Oops, excuse me. I think I'll end it short right here because I'm going to do a part two and... And, um... Uh, and I'm curious how it turned out, so, um, see you guys in part two. Bye.